Today marks day one in the murder trial of Elijah Craven. We followed this case since 2019, and he faced a packed courthouse today as the victim's family was there. 25 News reporter Dominique Clay is live at the courthouse. She was inside that courtroom all day. Dominique, what's the latest? Todd, it was a long and emotional day in the McLennan County 54th District Court today. In fact, some of the McFall family had to be excused from the courtroom after an outburst of emotion. The prosecution showed the jury some intense photos of the crime scene. A Waco police officer testified he responded to a shots fired call on September 10th around 2.50 near the Oakwood Cemetery. The officer said that's where he found Aquarius McFall with several gunshot wounds and already dead. Prosecution says a man, a mask found near McFall's body matches the DNA of Elijah Craven. But the defense argues the DNA testing also found three other potential matches. One witness who was 15 when McFall was killed testified saying that he was in the back seat of a truck when Elijah Craven, who was the driver, when it all went down. He said Craven asked McFall to give him a watch that he was wearing. Then he saw Craven hit McFall in the mouth with a gun. The witness testified Craven got out of the truck and he shoots him. The defense argued that witness, the defense argued that the witness previously lied to police during the questioning. Now, 25 News will continue to bring you the latest on the trial, which continues tomorrow. In Waco, Dominique Lay, 25 News. All right, now that man right there, Dazion Watkins, is the second suspect charged in this case. He also faces a murder charge. He violated his original bond last year. He is back in custody at the McLennan County Jail right now on a $1 million bond.